Hello everyone, I am sitting on the floor today because I thought it would be fun to do my nail polish collection video. I asked about this on Instagram, I don't know, probably two weeks ago now. And I finally got the liners for each drawer so that I could do this without my polishes sliding all over the place. Um, because for one, that's annoying and two, it gets really loud and I can only imagine what it would sound like on video. So. I have two Helmers. They're both white. I am a very uh, simple kind of girl. I picked mine up on the IKEA website. I don't have an IKEA near me, so I don't have the luxury of just walking in and picking one up. But it is about $50 shipped, uh, which I don't think is bad at all. I will say the shipping is very slow and they're not really good with communication, so. Uh, they're not quick, I should say, with communication. So, anyways, um, yeah. I'm gonna start out with the bottom drawers and work my way up. So, let's see what I have. So, this first drawer is my OPI drawer. This is actually my OPIs that I have either a large amount of the polishes from that collection or I have the entire collection. So, uh, these first two rows are from the OPI Iceland collection, which I do, of course, own the whole collection. And then I have the California Dreaming collection. And then I don't own the whole Hello Kitty collection, but I own a lot of them and I like to keep these bottle caps together because they are, I mean, they stand out. They stand out they're, they stand out like a sore thumb, so I do like to keep those together, but um, I don't own too many OPIs because they're fairly expensive. I mean, they're $10 a piece and I don't typically find myself gravitating towards them all the time. This is my second drawer of OPIs. This is just a mix and match of just about everything. I have a lot of my more pale colors at the front. Um, I have a lot of pinks and reds. OPI does those very well. They do them all the time, in fact. Um, I have more of my blue tones, and then I have like silvers and glitters in the back. Way back here, um, behind these normal size OPIs. I do have some minis. I'm not really a fan of their minis because they are so small. The caps are really really tiny um so i've considered de-stashing those this next drawer is just a mishmash of everything i have some julie g i don't have a rite aid near me um i think the closest one is about an hour away which i don't make that drive um ever if i'm honest so i don't own too many julie g's back here i have some pure ices right here i have my p2s i have this Berry L that Jessica the Polish Queen had sent me. It's my only Berry L. I've never tried that one yet, um, but I actually really like this color. I think I'll I'll be putting this one on here soon. Um, I have some of these um, personal accent polishes, which I think they are made from the same brand as uh, Color Club. I found some of these Revlon perfumeries at the Dollar Tree, so I bought them. But that's another thing. Um, another polish collection I guess that I do plan on de-sashing. This is an ice pink ice polish that um, Steffi Ray sent me. And then right here I have Madame Glam polishes that were sent to me for review. I have SC minis which I don't mind their minis actually. I think for minis they are actually pretty good. Uh, all of these right here are from the Kiss gel line. This polish in particular was sent to me by Steffi Ray in a package that included that pink ice polish as well. Um, the rest of these uh, came from the Dollar Tree. I've considered doing a review on them, so if anybody's interested, I know people are still finding them at Dollar Tree, so I will do that, um, but just let me know if you're interested. These are all color clubs. I mean, I do have a fresh paint right here, but I think we can all agree that they are all made by the same brand as Color Club. I have one uh, Rimmel polish. Does, does Rimmel even make polish anymore? I'm not sure, but I remember this being one of my favorites, probably... Ooh, like eight years ago. This is steel gray. I'm not sure if they make that one anymore. Here I have a LA Colors uh, Color Last Polish. This is in Infinite. I picked this one up because um, I got a message from somebody who was seeking a specific color. Um, and I thought that one was similar, but unfortunately I have not been able to find um, that color polish yet. Uh, these are all of my L'Oreal. Here is another brand that I think does polishes really well, but once again, I don't think that they are making polishes anymore, which is so bizarre to me. I mean, they really had so much hype um, behind that holographic polish. I can't remember the name of right now, but there was so much hype surrounding it, and now I haven't seen anything from them in quite a while. So there's that drawer. 
these polishes are just my Essie polishes. Um, I don't own a whole lot of Essies. As you can see, all the white caps are my Essies. Uh, same with finger paints and Orly. In the back, I have some of the Hype polishes and some Morgan Taylors right here. My favorite um, is Plumet with Excitement. I love this polish. I think it's so cute for any occasion. Um, I have some Nails Ink, uh, some Orly Color Blast, and my only Nicole by OPI, and then this polish that my husband picked up. It's a Nail Sugar. I don't know, he found it at Sally's, so he picked it up for me. This next drawer is full of all of my Orly's. I will say that most of these were sent to me. Um, this is the Sophisticates collection, the Wanderlust collection, the Natural 1, the Natural 2, and then I have the Natural 3 right here. Basically the polishes along the rim up until the white because I did not pick up this white one were sent to me from Zoya. Zoya is a brand that's not readily, readily available to me. Um, I can find them in my Ulta, but my Ulta is not good about keeping things in stock, which is a little bit unfortunate. So here is my indie store. Of course, I have it at the very top because I want to access them, particularly with my latest Prelly Glitter Mix Obsession. Uh, many of these, though, were sent to me. Um, I did purchase most of my Noodles Nail Polish, um, with the exception of Fireflies and Summer Skies from um, Noodles Nail Polish, which was sent to me from Amy or by Amy from Swatching Sue on Instagram. And all of these KB shimmers were sent to me, uh, with the exception of Blush Money. Um, these. Came from Jess and her nails and also Amy from Swatching Sue on Instagram. Uh, these as well. I purchased two of my painted polishes, but um, the other three were gifts. Um, Chasing Rainbows was gifted to me from Carolina. Um, these indies, all of these indies right here were gifted to me. Um, this is Magician's Apprentice, which this is the reason why I got into indies. So uh, Jessica the Polish Queen posted a swatch of this on her Instagram and I thought it was gorgeous but and she reached out to me um, to send it to me and I said sure so she sends me the package and of course that's not the only thing she sends me she sends me this beautiful beautiful mystery polish from the indie brand polish and this is the polish that set off my Crelly glitter obsession and I am so grateful that she sent this to me I was not expecting it um this is sundown serenity um Jessica the polish queen sent that to me this is a starly polish um just Jennifer Wallenfels on Instagram sent this to me my very first indie I remember opening this and I was so so excited uh, this yellow is a native war paints that was recently sent to me by Maureen from Glamour and Nail. Um, yeah, and then I was posting about this baby right here. This is Ponyville Confidential from Glam Polish. Now, Polished Pony on Instagram said it wasn't worth it. And for me to get it shipped to my home, it was going to be 18 bucks. And I did not want to spend that much money on a polish that just wasn't worth it. But she had it. She was de-stashing it. And she was kind enough to gift it to me. Um, and then these two glam polishes are from Carolina or Gotta Love Polish as well. Um, she sent those to me in the package that came up with Chasing Rainbows. So I am so grateful that you guys feel like I am worthy enough of gifts it really does mean a lot so there is my indie collection um and honestly if it weren't for you guys i don't even think i would own a single indie so thanks to everybody so this drawer is just a giant collection of everything mostly drugstore um i have some sally hansen i have maybelline uh color shows i have ulta polishes as well as the wet and wilds right here also the 99 cent wet and wilds right there here i have my one and only salon uh, manicure or what is it called Complete Salon Manicure from Sally Hansen. This is Mum's the Word. I love this yellow. I think it's a gorgeous yellow. I've actually gotten complimented on that. Um, here I have some Bitsy polishes, which I haven't even tried. I haven't, or at least I haven't tried that one. Um, I have some glitters, toppers in here as well that I need to give a try. Um, here I have Essence. I have Hot Topic polishes. I have Funky Fingers, which I don't even have a five below near me, and I still don't understand why. It's not like I live in the smallest city ever. Uh, here I have some 
more Sally Hansen. These are the Insta Dry polishes. And then these are all of my Revlon polishes. And this is my one and only Koki polish that Jennifer Wallenfeld sent me. I was so excited about this because for some reason this cap re reminds me of like uh, koalas, even though they're a little, um, what is it? Their little logo includes a elephant. I don't know what. I don't know why it reminds me of koalas, but it does. Here is my Sinful Colors collection. These are not all of the Sinful Colors polishes that I own, but I just own so many that I actually have a few drawers full of them. Right here I have the Pastel Neon Matte polishes. I have, I just, I just have everything. Um, here is, uh, Emmy Lou Blue, which honestly, it looks so gorgeous. I picked up a second one and that's the only one that I could really, I don't know, that I could really justify buying two of. Here is so symbolic. Something about Sinful Colors and their foil polishes, I mean, they just make them so well. So if you ever come across a foil polish by Sinful Colors and you like the color, you just gotta pick it up. They are so beautiful. So that is my first Sinful Colors drawer. Here is my second Sinful Colors drawer right here. I have all of my Candy Johnson polishes. Um, like I said, I did start separating these by collections, but honestly, they just come out with collections all the time. It's kind of hard to keep up sometimes. I have the Stone Crystal Shimmer collection. I have some of the polishes from the Valentine's collection. I have these neon polishes, which honestly, I think I will end up destashing because Orly comes out with fantastic neon polishes, but not only that, their brushes are just, they're just a dream and they make any polish easy to apply. Now, Sinful Colors brushes are not bad, but when it comes to applying a difficult polish, um, they just, their polishes, their polish brushes are just not good for that. Um, here is a uh, furry, a funky fierce um, from Sinful Colors. Of course, this is my Sinful Colors drawer, but this came from the same collection as So Symbolic. Uh, this is from the Stone Crystal Shimmer collection. This is Clay Me, and I would love to wear this color, but I just don't think it looks good against my skin tone, but I'm too stubborn to give it away. And here is my last drawer of Sinful Colors. I did, in this drawer, I started separating them by color family, but once again, Civil Colors comes out with polishes so often, it's just, it just doesn't make sense for me to do that. So I just have them kind of scattered everywhere. Um, I think the standout in this drawer is probably Wear a Werewolf from Simple Colors. Of course, it's Simple Colors, but uh, this is so pretty. And I think this is from last year's Halloween collection, but if you find this, I think you need it. At this point in my life, I've been so into Crelly glitter mixes, but I find myself gravitating towards yellows. Like or not yellows, grays, like really soft grays. And I don't know what it is. I think it's the fall weather, but here is my last Sinful Colors drawer. So here is my China Glaze uh, collections drawer. Does that make sense? I have the entire My Little Pony collection right here. I have the Spring Fling collection, and then I also have the Summer collection, which we all know my favorite was Simply Fabulous. If you don't own it, you need to own it. It's just the perfect blue jelly polish. It dries incredibly shiny, and it's so easy to apply. So here is the rest of my China Glaze collection. Um, I have some back here that you can hardly see. I also have some way back there that you can hardly see, but this drawer is so heavy. I do not want it to fall. I have these um, kind of in a rainbow order. I can't fit any other polishes in here, so I'm going to have to rethink how I'm going to store these because as you can see I really don't have much space left in my homers but we will worry about that when the time comes. Um, China Glaze is a brand that I really really enjoyed. OPI was the first salon brand that I had ever tried but something about China Glaze's colors that they come out with I really really gravitate towards their collection so that is my last drawer. So I also have these three Frida polishes. You can find these at CVS. Not all CVS's can of these so if you're looking for them which I mean at one point everybody was um, you can go onto the CVS website and type in your zip code and it will tell you which stores around you are carrying them 
This pink I purchased with my own money, but these two right here were gifted to me by Rebecca or Verifone on Instagram. I talk about her all the time. You should probably know her Instagram handle by now, but in her um, package with the other polishes that I shared with you, um, she sent these to me as well, and I love keeping these out. I think they're just so, so pretty to look at. And this is Zoya's Naked Manicure System. Zoya did send these to me, so I didn't buy them on my own, but I did want to um, include them because you guys probably see them in many of my videos in the background. So that is my entire collection. I know my collection has grown so much since my last nail polish collection video which was earlier this year but thinking about it that wasn't too long ago. I have definitely grown in my nail polish journey but I've had so much fun the, this year in 2017. I mean, I've just I've just discovered so much and I've made so many friends So I have no regrets in the amount of polishes that I have I will say I do have some top coats and base coats up here I have previously stored some colored polishes up there as well uh, specifically the Sally Hansen mm, What are they called? They're like the one coater polishes as well as the wet and wild cheapy 99 cent ones uh, Because I was using them for stamping last year, but I went ahead right before this video I just you know what the reason why I bought the Helmer was so that I could store my polishes out of sight and away And so I went ahead and I took those down and I put them in my drawers as you guys have seen So if there were any polishes that I did not talk about but you really liked the color You want to know the name of it or maybe you even want a swatch of it Go ahead and let me know I will do that for you and I will see you in my next video. Bye